Elder Renlin begins his talk by telling us about this amazing phenomena that occurs on the Amazon River twice a year. When the sun, the moon, and the earth align, it causes a huge tidal wave that moves up the river. The waves can reach up to six feet high and can travel 30 miles upstream. This is known as the Pororoca which means great roar. He says that we can correctly conclude that even the mighty Amazon must yield to heavenly powers. He makes an interesting comparison. He says, quote, like the Amazon, we have a natural flow to our lives. We tend to do what comes naturally. Like the Amazon, with heavenly help, we can do seemingly unnatural things. After all, it is not natural for us to be humble, meek, or willing to submit our wills to God, end quote. It can be difficult to go against the flow, so how do we do it? Elder Renlund shares what President Nelson taught us, quote, each person who makes covenants in baptismal fonts and in temples and keeps them has increased access to the power of Jesus Christ to lift us above the pull of this fallen world. Elder Renlin goes on to teach us what a covenant is. He says, quote, Covenant is a pledge that we should prepare for, clearly understand, and absolutely honor. Making a covenant with God is different than casually making a promise. End quote. He teaches that it requires priesthood authority and our full commitment. When we talk about the covenant path, we are talking about a series of covenants. He says a series of covenants whereby we come to Christ and connect to him. Elder Renlin says, quote, The path begins with faith in Jesus Christ and repentance, followed by baptism and receiving the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ showed us how to enter the path when he was baptized. End quote. When we are baptized and partake of this sacrament, we are promising to take upon ourselves the name of Jesus Christ. Elder Renlin then teaches how the covenant path leads us to the temple. In the temple, there are ordinances done. For example, the temple endowment in which we covenant to keep the commandments, repent, live the gospel, keep the law of chastity, and dedicate ourselves and everything the Lord blesses us with to build up his church. Making and keeping temple covenants brings many blessings. We learn more about the Lord's purpose and have a fullness of the Holy Ghost. We receive direction. We mature in discipleship, live with eternal perspective and more motivation to serve. We have an increased capacity to fulfill our purposes and mortality. We're protected from evil and have a greater power to resist temptation and to repent. And when we falter, the memory of our covenants with God help us return to the path. Elder Renlin says, quote, Keeping covenants made in baptismal fonts and in temples also provides us with strength to withstand mortalities, trials, and heartaches. He says, quote, By connecting to God's power, we become our own pororoca, able to go against the flow of the world throughout our lives and into the eternities. Thanks for watching. I'm a member of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Something special happens every six months in our church. It is a worldwide conference where we hear our beloved prophets speak, as well as the 12 apostles and many other wonderful church leaders. We gather in person or through internet and other forms of communication. We receive over eight hours of Christ-centered messages.